Hey everybody, it's Mike Michelle again, and we are in the most interesting or depressing place we've ever been into. We are in Indian Town Marina slash DIY Boatyard. And Hurricane. And Hurricane Hole. <clears throat> and we're walking down the powerboat aisle of all these boats that have sadly been sitting here. Some have not been neglected, but most of them have. And then getting close to the sailboat sections, way over there. And some of those haven't been in the water for years. And unfortunately, we know people that have that dream of, yeah, I'm gonna get this boat back in, back in running order. I'm working on it. Just a little bit more time. Just a little bit more work to do, and I'm almost done. How many is that? I counted at least 14 to 20 per row. About 20, 20 per row, and they go back to these 20 rows. I mean, Lord. It's a project. Make me an offer. Just, uh, I don't know. Uh, boats need to be used right. and run. I mean, it's a nice little carver, but, uh, I mean, geez, I hate to see what kind of science experiment is growing underneath that uh, shrink wrap. It's 90 degrees here in Indian Town. April, Don't get me wrong. It's April 29th. A, April 29th. Great little cute little marina. We love it. We took our the one or two transit slips they have. Um, it's nice. People... We send, read some reviews that they poo-poo it and, oh, it's not fancy. Well, yeah, it's a DIY boat yard. And, uh, we did 35 miles today. Yeah, we crossed Lake Okeechobee. Whew. Talk about, uh, you like being back in the Great Lakes. Can you take it? You can take it. Talk about being back in the Great Lakes. It was shallow. I talk with my hands a lot. <laughs> Shallow and uh, choppy, but the winds are only like five to ten miles an hour. And south, south. So we had uh, we beam, had beam seas, quartering stern beam seas. So it was a pain in the ass. It was wasn't fun, but we made it. It's only thirty thirty-five miles. Thirty-five miles a lock. One lock. We went down a total of six, six inches. inches. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's what you gotta do. And we're here. Back at it. Back at it. It's just, this place is amazing. Hundreds and hundreds of boats just rotting away. They're all tied down. It's a hurricane hole. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, well. Thoughts, comments, anything else about today? It was a lot of work. A lot of work today. Um, we worked ourselves up and think, cause, oh, we got to stay in the Sorry. channel. It's, it's very, you know, you're going to hit rocks. It's all rock. There's a reef out there. Um, oh, we saw. We do okay. We just stay within the channel and it does a lot of turns and you got to be careful of that. Uh, I missed one. We were still in eight feet of water. I didn't miss it. I overshot it. Overcorrected that. It was just, we're fine. What well, um, was shallowest and the most you've seen today? The shallowest was nine. Nine? Yeah. Nine feet. Up to 15, 20 feet. So it's fine. And even going from Fort Myers over was no yeah, problem either. No problem. We stayed in uh, <laughs> Roland Martin's. Not the first night. Where did we? We went to, we tried to go to the city of Lock. Remember LaBelle? Oh, right. <laughs> we were trying to, we are like, hey, look, LaBelle, Florida has a free free city dock. Yeah, we'll go there. Free. Yeah. We couldn't get in because they're like the Mediterranean docks. You got to drop your anchor or tie up to these piers 
and then you get off the back of your boat. Nope. We can't do that. We have Carol in the back there and she's in the way. And getting the dogs off, it won't work. So we went on. It was fine. We went to Moorhaven. Went to the Moorhaven, uh, what was the place called? River. Marina River. Inn, River there was something. no inn, but yes. Yeah, it's uh, it was fine. The guy met us, new docks, good dollar, power. Dollar a foot. Dollar a foot. Because um, the locks here, they're government run. They close at five. If you don't get through those by 4:30, you're stuck. Yep. So we didn't. We knew we weren't going to go through the last lock before Lake Okeechobee. So uh, we stayed there for the night. It was good. Then we went down, uh, what, 15 miles mm -hmm. to Roland Martin's mm -hmm. Marina and Bass Fishing Resort. Yep. That was a good place. Yeah. Good, liked it. Oh, uh, great place. Captain Sam. Camp Sam, I mean, there was, I meant to get a video of it before all these giant, it, it's just a, you end up going through this, uh, what do you call it, floodgate, flood very gate, narrow yep. floodgate, yep. and boom, there it is, it's just a long 600 feet 700, side tie yeah. dock, mm -hmm. 700 feet, and we were the first ones there, we were early because we weren't that far away, but uh, there was, uh, the biggest boat that came in was 80 feet long, mm -hmm. and then a, a 60 footer, then a 78 footer. And then a 50 footer and the whole 700 feet of dock was filled up we were at the very end it was great i wanted to get to get a video of it but uh and there's millions of dollars these are nice but they're gone they left we got up too late we but, stayed there a night just because yep. we wanted a provision a little bit and uh pretty much had the dock by yep, ourselves the dock to ourselves well today. we had a couple of yachts last night mm. Just yacht. a fishing place slash How was she yachts. Asked? But again, you, you, you're stuck. You, you get through uh, Port Mayaka Lock, you go across the lake, They say, everything shuts down at five. So wherever that is, you're stuck or you're anchoring. So most people, they come to, uh, they stay there, Roland Martins, or they anchor, I don't know. Yeah, Coast and Stewart. It. But it's been, been fun. But now we're on the east coast of Florida. Getting there. Getting there. Here we are. Hey, honey. Found a project. I bought a boat. No, I like the one on the end better. Okay. So, whoa, you just dropped your phone. That's it. That's it. Thanks, people. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.